So here we are, I'm with Dalmont and we're checking out the uh, dev build. This is our, uh, our latest crew member. Can we give him a name? Do you reckon we give him a name? Can't give him a name. About, His uh, name is no name. <coughs> we, need, we need to give him a name. He's currently part of NS1. I'm going to see if I can get into uh, enter gravity. I think you just type underscore, sorry, sorry, creature underscore gravity. No, enter gravity. That's it. Enter gravity. Okay, right. I'm going to see if I can get him inside. All right. All right. Good luck. Creature underscore go to, and then where you're looking. Let's see if he's managed to. I think he's having a little bit too much fun with the wedge. He is having a lot of fun with the wedge. We'll, we'll call him Wedgenold. So if I can push him. Can't he push seems him. uncooperative. Move the ship, see if he moves with it. Yep, I'm about to, I'm about to tilt it slightly. Oh. It looks like he's not actually in the ship. He's not on the ship. Hang on a minute. There we go. Right, move the ship now. Yeah, he's in the ship. Right, hang on. Right, cool. Let's see if I can get him to go inside. Hold up. Damn. Move a little to the left. Oh, oh. I couldn't go. Okay. Oh, he's in the door. Okay, he went to the hang plex on. door, I think. Hang on. Yes. He's in. He's in. Wedgenold is in. Right, we're gonna get him up to the. I'm gonna put him in the in the in the pilot seat, man. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna put him right. Oh god. Yep. I I would recommend. Uh, right there. Here he comes. A choice selection. Of oh, oh he's trying. He's trying. To look at him coming. <laughs> he's coping. He's got this. He's he's in. He's in position, right, so if you move the ship, what does he do? Oh gosh, right, I need to get in gravity myself. <laughs> There's a gravity block for you. Ah, he's got one, cheers, and there we go, I'm in gravity. Right, so let's just come down and check out on the, what are we calling him? Wedgenold. Here's Wedgenold. Because he, he likes wedges. Wedgenold is uh, going to be our pilot for this, for this, uh, this day, our test. So, uh, just checking out the look of the turrets. The turrets are looking pretty beastly in this new texture pack. I have to say so, although, if uh, we look at them right? while we move. Yeah. Well, no, maybe not. If I go side to side, they kind of wiggle. Do they? Everything kind of shifts. No, oddly. nothing's moving on mine. Huh, move. Strange for me, they wiggle. And try flying around and stuff. Yeah, they're dead. We appear dead. to. You, you seem to be moving inside the ship. Oh really? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm just sitting here. Everything seems really solid, mate. I could, I wouldn't know. That. In fact, I'm going to go outside and brave the uh, reaches of space because uh, I'm brave. I've got my space suit on. I'm now that's odd. See what's going on? Uh, I see you is actually on. still being inside the ship. Oh, like, uh, kind I of jumping at the door. I assure you, I'm above the ship now, looking at my helicopter. <clears throat> right then, See let's go to a planet. I should, I should probably relog. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Because right, right. otherwise we're going to uh, desync. Be desynced, yeah. We've managed to get a crew. We've got we've got Wedgenold on board, man. It's good stuff. It's amazing. I'm just checking He's out. My, the Wedgenold is my personal hero. I'm just checking out the bump mapping, the uh, realistic texture pack. It's looking pretty sweet. We've got some more awesome things to show you though, so don't go away. Uh, and right, I'm just letting everything in. Where it's are you? Nasty. I'm on the roof. I'm all good. You're on the roof? I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm on top of the tower. Hey, I don't even see you. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I need to relog. The shadows look amazing as well. You, you appear to be about 1,300 meters away. Oh dear, that's never good. Directly below. Right, I'm just going to quickly head up and uh, show people the crew tab and I'll relog. So if I go to AI, I can uh, rename him Reginald. There we go. And he's currently right settings. 
Auto aggro to proximity or attacked. Auto attack structures. <laughs> and auto stop attacking. I don't know what that means. I'm going to put them on auto aggro pro proximity or attacked. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, where'd he go? No! I pressed cancel and something went wrong! Oh, he's still there for me. Yeah, but something went wrong, man. I think he's not on my crew anymore. Hang on. Oh. Obviously, if you press Reginald, cancel, you will be missed. Reginald, no! I want you in my team. Okay, Reginald's back on the back on board. Do you want to move the ship and see if he moves quick? Yeah, he's still on board, man. He's in the pilot seat. He knows what's up. You can say follow, and he'll just follow you, apparently. Which is interesting to know. Right, shall I uh, try re-logging then? Yeah, see if that works, and if it doesn't, then as yeah, long as you can see it. that everything's in the right place. Oh, it looks absolutely... <laughs> everything is very much in the right place. I'm, I'm starting to really like this texture pattern. It looks, I think, a hundred times better with the uh, added backgrounds yeah, and everything. Yeah, right. I'm heading down through the ballroom. Splendid, by the way. And we're going to take it to the forward observation area. Past the newsrooms. Once you're in position, uh, I will... Yeah, I'm nearly there. Alright, sounds good, so... Yep, I'm here. The magic. Okay. That I might speed. have to move if it's that epic. Just say it. Oh god, what Chances happened? Chances are. Slow down. Oh. Um, I just fell out. You fell out? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what we might do then. Hang on, let me just get on the deck. I'm, I'm like, can you fly down? Lock up on the nose. And I will just stand out here. Whoa. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely splendid. I, I'm going to put a gravity block. Actually, might I make a suggestion? Well, news chopper. Yeah, just get a news chopper. Oh my god. Because uh, you're going to want to have a stable seat for this. And these oh, uh, speeds. Oh, that as well. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, these speeds will likely break physics. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's right. You can press space now. Salvaging the doors, everyone. That's what that was. You, actually, if you press space, it'll play I just got correctly to this I time. It's <laughs> alright. I just got to show everybody the. Uh, features. Alright, so this is 342 kilometers, and max speed is set to 500. Let me know when you've got a good camera angle. I am, I'm good. Let's go. The sun's behind us, which is a bit poor, poor but, you know, not very good for the shadows, you know. Oh, there will be other suns, I presume. Um, for me, it's uh, gone completely, uh, oh, no nebulas. Let me just see if I've got something at Alright, I'm going to go ahead and engage and then uh, you can keep your eyes on the background see if it changes. If it doesn't, we'll check out the local rotation on planets. Did you see how we kind of popped yeah. there? Okay, we're yeah. now in the planet sphere of influence, and C will orient us in a different direction than it was before. Oh, nice. So, let's just test this out for a second here. Yeah? Rotate around the planet. 
Nope, because I'm locked into, uh, I'm in basically what you describe as geostationary orbit. However, ah. watch my triangle if you, uh, consider. See oh, if I get out of the planet. Stay above. Oh, okay, in orbit, then. No, stay on the, uh, stay on the planet, because it'll be a better... Oh, okay. Let's see if I can find Single it out. Shot as well, it just looks pretty. Every shot. Okay, I am now out. You're out. Can't see it. That's a shame, but I am totally oriented differently. The C will actually put me in a different orientation, so if I back up after pressing C, this planet is actually upside down then relative to the sun. So if you stop and look, the planet itself is rotating instead of moving around in sectors. So to anyone who could actually see us from distance, which unfortunately at this point is kind of improbable, mm. uh, we would appear to be rotating with the planet. Oh, so what, if we got far enough away... Stop. Yeah, so if somebody was looking in at us right here at the planet, it would appear that we were rotating. So if you actually back out of the sphere of influence real quick, mm. you'll see the orientation changes based on where the planet is currently, since C will actually align you in a different way. Ah. Just ever so slightly. A bit disorienting, I, but it makes you feel alive. see those procedurally generated watches. Do you know what the weird thing is about this planet? Hmm. Oh, I get it. So there's a daylight cycle. This thing's going to eventually turn into the sun, man. Hang on a sec. I want to test that out. I'm going to go find somewhere opportune. Park the chopper. Uh -oh. I'm going to put up a screenshot of exactly what I can see, by the way, afterwards. Please do, because I'm desperate to see that. Oh dear, it's not really landed very well. Oh, oh wow, a photo. Photo. <laughs> Just photos all the time. But basically, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, but if this planet is rotating, as you say, then does that not mean that eventually this is going to face the sun? It would appear that way. How long do you reckon we've got until sunrise? Not very long, actually. We are probably 45 degrees relative to the sun right now. It's almost directly to the other side of us. Right, so sunrise is going to come from that side, is it? It's going to come from... The side that we're on, the ship's on? The, sh the side that I'm actually pointing to. Alright, okay, cool. That's perfect. I'm just trying to find a decent position. 